Hello guys and welcome to my channel, I'm Amanda and today we are here with another collab and this time we are doing a collab with Katie Vaughan Art <laughs> Her name is hard to say and uh, she hates it but uh, well she doesn't hate her name, she hates it, nobody can pronounce it but anyway, um, yep Katie is awesome and she is one of my bestest bestest friends on YouTube uh, We have been talking for a while now, not as much as a year but pretty close to and uh, she's amazing. Me and Tor and her have a little three-way chat going on on Twitter and we just talk about art and life and stuff and it's really fun and her YouTube channel is amazing. She has an OC called uh, Charlie and he is a little mouse and he's absolutely cute absolutely cute makes no sense but he's cute and you should definitely go and check out her channel it's really fun she has a lot of challenges on there a lot of cheap art supplies um making amazing art with cheap art supplies and all of that stuff so go and check her out the link will be in the description as well as the icards above probably at that side because i always point up there but it's not it's up there anyway uh we are gonna get into the video um so for this video we decided that we wanted to, to do a character design and the character design is based off of what each other told us so Katie gave me an explanation about what it is um, and I gave her an explanation about what her character should be like uh, so if you want to go and see what character she did then go down below and uh, watch her video and, and I'll tell you later what the character is about but I just wanted to do this little introduction to tell you, show my face, say hi but I'm actually going to do a voiceover on my computer this time which is unusual for me but I want to actually watch the footage back while I do it um, because sometimes I get lost on what to say. Anyway let's go into the video. Alright guys, so here we are with the portion of the video where I show you the art and we are colouring it in just now in Pro T8 with the iPad Pro. Um, I have the 12.9 version. Uh, I decided that I wanted the bigger one because bigger's better, right? Um, easier drawing space and I absolutely love my choice. It is a little bit big, but it's okay. I like it. Um, yeah, and we are doing Procreate. And I didn't record the drawing portion of it because it literally would have took me about five hours to edit this video if I did include the drawing portion because it was too much. I just kept drawing and drawing and I was drawing them in different poses and all that stuff. But anyway, uh, Katie gave me the prompts for this and she told me that she wanted me to draw an office worker that had a secret and his secret was in his briefcase. He had uh, black hair and the styling for the clothes and the hair and all that stuff was up to me. Um, I did not give him black hair. I'm sorry, I gave him brown hair because I forgot about the black hair. And um, I decided to put him in a kind of low grade business kind of outfit. So he's not like, he's not got a tux on, he's not got like a really nice black suit. It's just a blue shirt brown tie, dark brown trousers and a tan kind of jacket um, but I like the way that it came out anyway. It was really nice and I, I enjoyed it. So for the concept of this uh, I wanted him to look like he was falling so it was really hard to do this uh, kind of pose and I obviously had to make it look like his clothes were like falling behind him and his tie was like up in the air because he was falling and gravity and all that stuff. I had to do a lot of research on this. I did not know how to draw this pose um, and I followed a couple of references on Google um, just with various men falling <laughs> and his build, he looks a little bit like bigger than I wanted him to look. He's not big, he's not fat. Um, but Katie did say that he was supposed to be skinny and um, I kind of failed on that part because his his jacket's really bulky. I don't know, he's like medium build I think. Um, but I had fun. <laughs> so you're just watching me colour in all these shades and stuff and his secret, well his secret was really hard for me to come up with. I ran past a couple of ideas to my dad. Um, I said that I wanted to give him like the typical uh, 
like lingerie thing there's been adverts going about I can't remember what advert it was but there was an advert with a guy um in a business suit and he was in his office and he had like sexy ladies underwear on and that was his secret fetish I don't know um so I was gonna do something like that but then I thought that would not be good for YouTube and probably talking about it isn't good for YouTube either um so I decided to scrap that idea and I went through another like couple of ideas I can't even remember most of them now um but I went for a really simple and probably stupid idea I decided that he would have a secret of um, wanting to quit his job and sell soap for a living um, and make soap. So he makes soap in his house and then he brings it to his work and tries to sell it to everybody. Um, He doesn't show it to the guys though because he's a little bit embarrassed about that. He shouldn't be because his soap is lovely. It's lavender flavour. Scent, (laughs) not flavour. I watch too much Sprinkle of Glitter. Uh, Louise Pentland. Anyway, yeah, it's it's lavender. I don't like lavender soap, so you wouldn't get any business from me, but uh, lavender is really popular apparently. I'm sorry about the notifications popping up, by the way. Uh, I forgot to turn those off and then um, didn't cut them out, so a lot of them come up. Um, but I had fun doing this, but I was also really frustrated. Katie gave me a challenge, let me tell you. She she gave me a challenge and I also cheated with the suitcase. I traced a, I traced a suitcase. Um I looked for one on Google and I traced it because I could not draw it. Look at the look at the suitcase. It's just ugly. So mm-hmm. I decided to trace it. Sorry about that. My phone gone off. Um and then I put the secret in there and I didn't really spend that much time trying to make the illustration look good especially with the soap I literally just painted a blob or a couple of blobs and wrote soap on it which wasn't the best I should have made the soap look really cool oh there we go I'm starting up the thing again whoops didn't cut that out rubbish editing on my part sorry um but yeah I like the way that it came out although I do think that it was a little bit a little bit um hard for me to do the pose was really hard uh but I think that I pulled it off that I'm surprised that I was really good with the proportions the hands don't even talk to me about the hands not a good hand but that's all right um but I tried not to put too much shading and too much detail and too much depth into this because I wanted it to look like a cartoon but not be too cartoony if you get what I mean um I decided that that would be the best option and I'm gonna pause this right now yeah sorry about that I had to pause it and I can't edit out me saying that I pause it because then I would have to I don't know big too much work (laughs) just being honest anyway um yeah so I am using the gouache brush that comes with procreate and I really like that brush because uh, it's a little bit more grainy and um I just like it (laughs) so yeah I tried to make as cohesive as possible and stay within the kind of brownie ranges obviously I put a little bit of blue in there too to break it up a little bit but I'm happy with it but at the same time I think that I could have did much better um but I was crushed on time even though I asked Katie to do this collab like a month ago (laughs) maybe a couple of weeks ago but we were going back and forth well I was trying to think of what kind of collab to do because I was doing so many collabs I didn't want to do the same thing with every single collab um so it was really hard to come up with an idea and then by the time we had uh, I had a lot of stuff to do so uh, I was pushed on time and um I didn't want to work on it honestly I just hated the fact that I would have to draw a man first of all which I never do a full body which I never do items which I never do it was just a lot of new stuff for me but I'm happy that I tried it because if you don't try things um that are scary to you then you'll never know how to do it and I feel a little bit more confident now um I feel like I probably could have made his jaw a little bit chunkier um because he's got quite a feminine jaw but men do not all have thick square jaws you know some of them do have little pointed jaws um <laughs> but yeah I like the fact that um I did minimal shading on this and I just color picked the same color that uh was on his 
body, I guess, the same colours that I used and just put it on a multiply layer and went over it with obviously whatever colour. Like I didn't, as you can see up at the top right hand corner there's a little colour swatch there and I'm using the same colour for his jacket but it's on a multiply layer so it makes it a little bit darker. Um, and then I blended that out slightly. I was just going to leave it like this but it looked really messy and weird so uh, I decided to blend it out. And his hands guys, I don't know if I mentioned that already but I like his left hand which is on the right hand side but his right hand is a little bit squiffy but it's alright, hands are hard right? So that's fine, there's my iPad going off, please stop. <laughs> try to record a video here but yeah I lost the footage of me smudging out everything so I just used the procreate one and um I put a little circle of ground under his foot to ground him um and I think I left the background mainly white so here I am with the procreate I made his head too small um but I thought that that would look better with the angle I don't know I just Everything was a shambles, guys. <laughs> I tried my hardest. So I'm just blending out all the shadows and shading and stuff. And like I said, it could use a big cleanup. Um, it's not the best. But uh, yeah, I, I'm i going to put the soap in in a minute and then, and then sign it. And you will never see this picture again. I don't even think I'm going to put it on Instagram. Anyway, here is the finished product. Uh, as you can see, it's really rough still. It's like a sketch more than anything. It took me about three hours to do though, so it did take me a long time. Um, and like I said, I could have made it better. But here it is. I'm glad that I did it. It's fun. Make sure you go and check out Katie. She's awesome, like I said in the intro. And uh, follow her and subscribe and all that fun stuff and uh, click on any of the videos that I post at the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, put the notification bell on and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!